All right, we're just talking about the mild temperatures and how we are going to spring the clocks forward this weekend. And it's stressful for a first time mama like me because Basil is you just. You got to talk this over with Basil. I, Listen, know. here's how this is going to go. What should I do? <laughs> should I should I let him sleep? Should I wake him up at the new time? And then does that mess up his later? You guys don't really he's care. Gonna, but no, I do. It, but it, it stresses he's going to do what he wants. Yeah. He's going to do what true? he wants. I, I wish I had an answer to that. I just <laughs> I don't, don't know. I can tell you the clocks are going to change. It's about it. Uh, but we will get some nice weather to go along with it. That's the good part of it. Uh, clouds and radar shows that, that snow rolled through here for about half of us this morning. A lot of that stayed south of eight mile. There were a couple flurries uh, across parts of Oakland and Macomb counties, but generally this didn't amount to much. We're going to go through a similar setup as we get into Thursday and then Friday. Uh, but again, I don't think we're going to see anything in the way of accumulation. But keep in mind, temperatures have been near 50 degrees in the afternoon, and we're still fighting those snow chances, which all seem to be coming in the morning. 47 is where we're at right now. You can see some cooler air up there in the UP and on the other side of the lake. And yes, the temperatures will get colder before we really start to rebound going into the weekend. So expect clear skies tonight, not doing us any favors temperature wise, but going into tomorrow, the clouds will build through the day. Rain comes in first. This is in the afternoon tomorrow about this time. We'll be seeing some scattered rain showers ahead of this front. And then once that front comes through, the cold air on the backside starts turning any of that moisture over into light snow. But you can see this is Friday morning. There's not a whole lot out there, so it's just going to be some very widely scattered snow showers, and that's going to be about it. All of it wraps up by lunchtime. And then the good stuff starts to show up as we get into the upcoming weekend. High pressure settles in all kinds of sunshine, both Saturday and Sunday. The only drawback after the snow showers roll through on Friday are going to be the winds uh, with that cold front. You're going to see these winds start to pop right here. 9 a.m. could be seeing gusts of up to 40 miles an hour.